What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pro Tip Thursday. So today we're gonna to be talking about something that has helped me a lot lately in the projects that I've been working on. I've recently been hired on as an editor for a studio that shoots video podcasts. Of course, as an editor, I'm in charge of editing. So one of the issues that I've kind of run into that kind of makes the job a little bit harder is I'll get sent an email with different timestamps to cut those clips up so that those people can use those in their social media accounts. Now at the beginning, what I was doing is I would go into Premiere, I'd find the first time point that they wanted me to go to, I'd cut it, and then I'd scroll over to the next time point and cut it there and then repeat that process over and over again like 15 to 20 different times. And this took me forever, especially when a lot of the clips were over an hour long. So I found an easier way to do it, something that makes my life a lot easier and makes my workflow a lot easier and faster. So before we get into it, we'll run the Pro Tip Thursday intro. Like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about how to cut up your big long clips into short little snippets for social media. Let's get into Premiere. What's up guys and gals? So we are in Adobe Premiere Pro right now. So to make it a little bit easier on you to cut up the clips, instead of having to go through and hit C and cut and then go to the next point, hit C and cut again to get your little clip, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this playhead position right here where your time is and you're gonna click on that. So let's say for example, I'm trying to get to 10 minutes and 16 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in 10, 16 and zero, zero. And I'm getting a phone call. Let me call you back, Jake. I'm recording the rest of my video. Oh, really? I'm going to have to check that out. But hey, let me call you back, okay? Because I'm recording this right now. <laughs> I'll call you back. And I may even put this conversation in the video. I'm not sure yet. I may. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll call you back. Okay. Bye. All right. So that was my buddy Jake letting me know that Daniel Schiffer has a new video out about uh, making a DIY Aperture 120. So you know what I think I'm going to do is because that call happened and it just happened to happen, I'm going to put that link uh, somewhere probably up here in this area probably i think i'm going to do that yeah because daniel schiffer makes awesome videos but anyway so uh if i forget to type in those two zeros right there what's going to happen is when i hit enter it's going to bring me to 10 seconds instead of 10 minutes so you want to make sure you add that zero zero at the end so i'm going to do 10 minutes 16 seconds and then zero, zero, that's gonna take me to 10 minutes and 16 seconds exactly. Now, instead of having to go and hit C to cut it and then cut it that way, what you can do is you can hit Control K and it cuts it for you. Then you go back, let's say I wanna bring that to 16 minutes and four seconds. I'm just gonna do that. 16 minutes and four seconds, hit Control K. And there we go, we have our clip. Makes life a lot easier on you than having to go through and do all that stuff. That's definitely a really easy way to do it. All right, guys, let's get back to my face. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from it. If you did, please feel free to hit the like button below. And like I always say, guys, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.